Hello everyone and welcome to an impromptu tutorial video on how to stop Fallout 3 crashing on the loading screen every bloody time on Windows 10. I wanted to play Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. I had no problems before, I started a new character but I haven't played it in a while. And so when I started the game again, it always crashed on the loading screen, either selecting continue or loading a specific save. It even happens when I want to select new game. So I want to continue my character. So I did a bit of searching and I came across this helpful page, link is in the description, uh, which describes the issue. Well, it didn't actually fix the problem, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Basically, this issue occurs in this case because Fallout defines how it renders things based on the video card name. This is a bad idea as it often has to guess information, or that information may change with updates, which I think is what happened in my case. To add extra confusion, laptops switch between integrated and discrete graphics. So if any of the details are wrong, as soon as Fallout has to render or draw anything, it crashes. So this page has two links. The first link is a fix for Fallout on Windows 7 and 8. So if this issue is happening for you on these operating systems, then download the file from this link. However, for me, I'm on Windows 10 and the owner of an ATI graphics card. So the second link is relevant. I follow the link and exit Steam. And then download. And just go straight into the downloads. So in downloads, we have a look for the file, and it's called D3, this one, extract to this file. So we can see that it is a DLL. So this DLL file is meant to spoof the GPU and pass all the DirectX 9 checks in the engine that broke as a result of the Windows 10 updates and new drivers. So once we have the DLL, we need to go where fallout.exe is located. We can do this easily in Steam, so we right click the game, go to properties, Go local files and browse local files and voila, we're at where where the exe files are located. So we copy this file, put it in here. And now close. Now we rewind Fallout. And there's my character, yay. So now when we rerun Fallout, it loads correctly, but for me this is a suboptimal solution. Uh, so before running the game, if we go to options, we can see that it says that the graphics adapter is an NVIDIA GeForce. Now, if we go into what, if we right click on the Windows, go Device Manager, and have a look under Display Drivers, you can see that I don't have an NVIDIA GeForce card. So the DLL file is spoofing a card that doesn't actually exist. So this solution can work for you, because it can do the high definition resolution that my screen can do, but it's not the best solution because it's trying to make up a graphics adapter that I don't actually have. But this made me think, if Fallout is easily confused by the display adapters it thinks there are, and laptops have two display sources, it is possible that something happened, some driver version becoming old or a Windows 10 update, causing Fallout to pick the wrong one and crash. So I suspect what had happened before was that Fallout was pointing towards the Intel rather than the AMD dedicated graphics card, which I want Fallout to point to. So one of the things I did was I uninstalled and reinstalled Fallout 3 first, but this had no effect. So then I went into Device Manager, and I went into my display adapters and I right clicked on them and I updated drivers. And the Intel integrated graphics was already up to date, but there was a driver update for AMD Radeon. So I just went update of driver. And then I said search automatically. And then I'll find the updated driver. And now because we've updated the driver, I don't want that DLL file there anymore. So let's get rid of that. Delete. And now when we restart Fallout 3. we can see that it's pointing to the AMD Radeon card, which actually exists in my system. So I suspect that before it was looking at the Intel integrated graphics card and not the AMD graphics card. So the AMD graphics card should have, it has the high HD resolution as we wanted. And if we go continue, continue from the last save, yes. 
and hopefully it gets through the loading screen. Get through the loading screen. Get through the loading screen. And there we go. Full HD resolution and Fallout actually recognizes that it's using the AMD graphics card and not spoofing the GeForce. Although that can work for you like I said. So let's quit because I'm not actually wanting to play right now. So what does this mean? Do I have a fix for you? Not exactly. Um, if you're experiencing some problem where Fallout is crashing on the loading screen, I recommend that you first of all go into your device manager and have a look at what display drivers you have. Then before loading Fallout, just click on options and see what Fallout is using to render. If it's trying to use the integrated graphics or if the graphics drivers Fallout 3 is looking at are out of date, update your graphics drivers and then hopefully Fallout will then be pointing to the up-to-date dedicated graphics card, in my case the up-to-date AMD graphics card. But as I said, if that doesn't work, check out this web page and download the relevant DLL file and copying that into where fallout.exe is located can help you out. So there you go, hopefully this video helps you and I'll see you in the next video.